Hi, in this video, we're going to be going over how to create a bar graph, a side by side bar graph and a pie chart using Google Sheets. And so the important thing that you need to know about all of these graphs is that they're all graphs that represent categorical data. So you may be looking at this and saying, well, those are numbers. So how can it be categorical? So yes, these are categories and these are frequencies. So that means they're in our data set, there are 12 males who like math, there are nine males who like science, so on and so forth. All right, so this is a contingency table, which you may have learned about because it has two variables that we're looking at. And this is a perfect setup to create a side-by-side -side graph. Now, in order to create a side-by-side -side graph, we highlight the whole contingency table. If we had sums, we would not highlight those pieces. Uh, once we have that highlighted, we go to insert, uh, we go to chart, so let's see right here, and it knew that we wanted a column chart. And because we had two variables, it automatically created for us a side-by-side -side bar graph. Now, this is not done because our title doesn't make sense. You want to make sure that when you create a graph, the title does make sense. So we can call this subject preference by gender, for example. By gender. And we also want to make sure that there's an X axis and a Y axis label. So we go to customize, chart and axis titles. We first go to the horizontal and we can call that gender. And then we can go to the vertical title and on the vertical we have frequency. And now we have a complete diagram side by side bar graph and we're done with that. So now Let's talk about how to create another bar graph, this time not a side-by-side -side bar graph, but a regular bar graph. All right, I'm having a hard time moving that, but that's okay. So here we have a frequency table. So I took the totals from our previous table. There we go. So notice here, the number of people that like math, 20. So I can add up the two numbers here to get 20. The number of people that like science, 19. And the number of people that like history, you add that up, you get 22. So those are the values I have here in my frequency table. So in order to create my bar graph or my pie chart, I highlight my frequency table. I press insert. I go to insert chart. And it automatically creates a pie chart. And like we did before, we would want to change the label here. I won't do that right now. You saw how I did it before. Now, in order to create a bar graph, let's get this out the way. We again highlight the very same table. We press insert once again, insert chart once again. And notice it just created another pie chart, which is not what we want this time. In order to fix that, we go to the setup where it says pie chart. We select that and we click on the column graph. And now we have a bar graph or a column graph that shows that information. So now if you know how to create a side by side bar graph, a regular bar graph and a pie chart using data from uh, what is given to you. So either a frequency table or a contingency table.